Hello, greetings, uh, greetings, Facebook live stream. Uh, I'm on Facebook live stream. I'm Zahra Jawad, ex Shia, one and two, truth seeker on YouTube channel. I have two, more than two, but I'm active. Uh, I'm active in uh, two of my channels, on two of my channels. Better English. <laughs> Correction. <laughs> So, before you Shias kill me, because tonight is the night. <laughs> the moon's so right. <laughs> so I'm in a giddy mood, <laughs> because uh, when I get serious, it's killing me. <laughs> and you break my face or something. <laughs> No, no, I don't think the Shias will break my face. And there's uh, prayers going on uh, extra. Oh. Maybe the nuffles are going on now. They call it. <laughs> and before Ramadan starts, it will be for an hour or so going on. Uh, so I have to do this. Sorry about the disturbance. If you can hear the mic, uh, loudspeaker, <laughs> not the mic, the loudspeaker. You see what Imam Ali has said about the attributes of Allah, I found that out it's in Sermon 1 of Najil Balagha. Oh God, okay, uh, I just have to pause this. Okay, so you know this uh, um, religion, how it goes against idol worshipping, and not to worship anyone, khair Allah, other than Allah, which would be khair Allah, right? And not to associate anyone with Allah. Now I've reached here. I mean, there's a lot I can say about it. A lot I can now say, since now I'm more educated. So, I mean, it's very difficult for my heart to see how we have been deceived. You know, sometimes parents hit their children because they don't want to pray. Sorry, excuse me. Just... And uh, sorry, YouTube, uh, this is like a live stream. So I'll be taking my time and uh, going slow, slower than slow uh, before. <laughs> as I am slow, slower than that. But I won't be pausing here. So you'll just have to take this like a live stream. You can't see my face, sorry. I'm, uh, I have to put a lot of makeup and all that to look <laughs> little <laughs> face. Uh, look uh, presentable. Okay, now And I don't look uh, look good. I don't like my face, my looks. So this is good enough. And we will concentrate more on what is here. So if you would open Najil Balagha to Sermon 1 uh, from any site, uh, the Shia al-islam.org, uh, al you just uh, Google search Najil Balagha and you will get this. Uh, I'm not prepared, but uh, discovering, you know, uh, this video, I'm not prepared for this video. But a little bit I thought about uh, Surya Allah, like glorify the name of thy Lord. Please ghar karen, pay attention, please pay attention. It doesn't say glorify Allah. It says, glorify the name of Allah, the Most High, Allah. <coughs> so, Ali comes from that name, Allah, the Most High. Glorify, what does it say in Surah Allah? It says, so embrace yourselves. You see? Because what Imam Ali has said about attributes doesn't go with what the Quran ayats tell us to do. 
particularly this ayat I know because it uh, the surah I know because it came in my dream in Ramadan years when I was separated from Mr. Sam. And so it's a long dream and all this long story behind it. Uh, the ala, the Quran was on my lap and on top was the surah's name written, ala. And I didn't know that uh, this ala surah existed, although I'd read the whole Quran earlier on in Ramadan in Dubai. I had spent Ramadan, one Ramadan in Dubai when I was uh, around 15, uh, 16 years old, sorry, 16 years old. Uh, so I'd come with my father, okay? So I'd read the Quran, but our Quran, uh, Shia Quran, you know, on every page it uh, doesn't have that. Uh, this uh, blue Quran, uh, it, has a, it had a blue cover, I remember. So on every page it doesn't have Surya Allah, Surya Allah, Surya Allah. So that way I didn't remember all the names of the surahs because of that perhaps. Uh, I don't uh, mean to blame anyone, but just a reality I need to point out. Anyways, I, I, even though I had read the Quran, the whole Quran in one, of Ram, in one Ramadan, I uh, didn't know that there was Surah Allah, even as I was uh, so 19. I was um, perhaps, uh, I don't know how old, 18, 19 years old. So um, it was um, the 19th of Ramadan. So that's how I remember 19 verses are in Surah Allah. And uh, the Surah number, so it must be 1987 I had the dream. Ramadan 1987, 19th Ramadan. Imam Ali Zarbat night when he was uh, hit by the sword, by Ibn Muljim, Ibn Muljim. That's how I remember, so 87 chapter of the Quran, and in 1987, I had this dream. Okay, after have, having done the Amal, the night Ramadan Amal of our Shias, went home from my grandmother's place and had a dream. So that's how I didn't pay much attention to the uh, sermon. Okay, I didn't connect them. I paid attention, but I didn't connect this sermon like I am going to do now with uh, Surah Allah. <laughs> uh -huh. So uh, the thing is, the dream has a lot of importance for me. It holds. A lot of importance is uh, where um, I was, uh, my grand aunt was stopped by the military man because there was a curfew in Karadar. So I see myself below uh, that place where she was stopped by a military man. Uh, the military man in Urdu said, hey woman, uh, my, uh, where are you going? Go home, it's curfew, curfew time. So this also came back recently to tell me something. Military man, <laughs> you know, it's curfew, you have to go. So such strict laws, right, of, from the Quran and this Islamic. It's like a military thing. What you would be headed if you don't pray whack so this is how it is doesn't leave any room for thinking maneuvering ah <sighs> you know what I mean so Imam Ali is very serious about this Najul Balagha, Sermon 1, <laughs> before the Shias kill me. <laughs> uh, so we used to, oh God, we can't understand this. And this is topmost of, from Imam Ali. No one has written. When I also read it, it's not like my father told me. It's like, oh my God, no one has written something like this. The 
they know God. Like uh, I was, uh, I was reading in Al Kafi many years back. I don't remember it, but this guy, uh, this man, <laughs> gentleman, <laughs> gentleman, no, <laughs> because Imam Ali would say, "Woe we'll be unto you," <laughs> and a Jew or an atheist came to him and said, "But then, or an idol worshiper, a <laughs> pagan idol, like if you don't see God, how do you worship Him?" So what did Imam Ali? What was his answer? That I see God in. Through my heart's eyes, right? It's not that I don't see God like he's somewhere without anything and <laughs> the formless, but I still see him through the hearts, through the heart, or I can say through the heart's eyes. Can I say it like this? Anyways, uh, so here we come reading uh, in the middle of the sermon about the attributes where it starts here is that uh, uh, and the perfection of his purity is to deny him attributes because every attribute is a proof that it is different from that to which it is attributed. Oh, you would say, subhanAllah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Was, 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 was. So, a woman is not supposed to bring her voice out like that. Oh, okay. Um, in Islam, even in our Shia Islam, Imam Sajjad was very uh, this thing about serious about the women, okay? Now, okay, before you question, your mind goes questioning me, uh, we're discovering. So at the end of it, please listen to me. If any questions are arising, ask me, ask me. Saloni, saloni. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, what are we sure of? <laughs> I'm not even sure of my existence, my life, and what it is. <laughs> so how can I tell you? It's only you who can tell yourself what your life is. If you have lived it, they say, like if you have lived a true life, if you're honest and you've never lied to yourself, be naked and worry not about what the people will say. Be yourself, meaning, see, if you want to dance, you can dance. Just be yourself. And you say, no, we have to stop ourselves from dancing. <clears throat> because uh, dancing is haram, prohibited in Islam. And all this. <clears throat> Anyhow, let even dance with God. Now, see, I, <laughs> Zahra the heretic. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> I wouldn't get to God. <laughs> When I was a Shia, but uh, I did like dancing. It is an expression of your feelings. Another way, but I used to think then, oh, hele uh, when they went through all this, you know, when you go, you're in a grief-stricken thing, put on music, dance. What a feeling! Dance to the flash dance. The movie we saw in London in the cinema hall. Just free your mind and the rest will follow. Okay, maybe still you, you might be uh, remonstrating at me. <coughs> what am I doing? <coughs> I'm asking you people to dance. It's not, it's prohibited. <laughs> I mean, there are monks that are, uh, you know, 
very serious about life. They have dedicated exclusively. They don't dance and all this. And you're telling us to dance. <laughs> okay. Sorry, yeah. So these things come out. Uh, they're coming out and we just observe them. All these thoughts. Why do we not judge them? I don't know. Uh, all I can say is we need to get to the heart of the matter where the mind... See, the mind can give you like the greatest God in the world. And, you know, we are very dignified people and we don't... Our, we don't on slippery grounds, your foot has never slipped. Duai Sabha. Duai Sabha, the supplication of Sabha. And we have put our reins in the hands of God. Duai Sabha. The Shias know what I'm talking about. If I'm talking to myself as a Shia, I'm, I apologize. There is a supplication of Sabha. It's called. Usually, it is read, recited in the early morning hours because Sabha means morning also and Sabha also means uh, some kind of breeze, morning breeze or okay, like that. So we have a supplication of Sabha. Now the mind can do tr uh, lots of tricks. So we're going to see if the mind created this Allah, Oh, it's a hell. It's a great. Uh, it's like a mountain of work on me. I have to show you. Kitna ame bevakuf banaya aur kaise bevakuf banaya is dimag ne. Ek taraf se to kehte hain ki dimag istamal karo, nahi karo, kya karo. Ya revelation hi aa jaye to better hai. Lekin revelation sirf. Prophet Muhammad, prophets ko aati hai, hume nahi aati. Animals ko wahi aati hai, bees ko aati hai. Lekin agar aap kisi ko kahenge ki mere paas Jibrail aaya, <laughs> to <laughs> wo believe nahi karenge. Lekin agar aap kahenge jinn aaya, to believe karenge. Sorry, a little bit in Urdu. What I'm saying, uh, I cannot say in uh, translate in English. Like to use the mind. Let's see. We are discovering whether the mind has tricked us or whether this God, this very strict one way, this way. Otherwise, you will burn and burn in hell. So you have to discover. You see, what what, what is the criteria for touching this Quran? Only the pure can touch it. On one hand, right, Surah Vakya verse. So that's why we have to uh, be purified from mixtures, uh, you know, of this world, conditioning of this world, habits we have formed. The mind has conditioned us so much. So in order for a truth, the truth, the complete, absolute truth to reach you, we need not go in steps to, 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 now read, pray the namaz, now do this, now do your extra nafals, now get up in the morning, tahajjud is very good after midnight or at midnight you can say prayers in the night, surah mudassir or surah uh, muzammil, huh? arise, oh you covered wrapped up in clothing. I say, remove the cloth, my Lord, and let the people see with their naked eyes my love unclothed. You know, and let there be no doubt in how purified Waters of my love are. <laughs> Let my love 
heal the crippled with her eyesight. And the waters will stir. Villette by Charlotte Bronte. I could quote from her and I have to search for it. Ah, how weak you are, man. And who can see deeper things? So you can read Villette, Charlotte Bronte's classic. Okay, now here, so cutting the sh uh, story short because every attribute is a proof that it is different from that to which it is attributed. And everything to which something is attributed is different from the attribute. Thus, Whoever attaches attributes to Allah recognizes his like. And whoever recognizes his like regards him too. And whoever regards him as two recognizes parts for him. And whoever recognizes parts for him mistook him and who, whoever mistook him pointed at him you see and whoever pointed at him admitted limitations for him where what about the house of allah imam ali what about the house of Allah, let alone that ayat I'm going to go to in Surah Allah now? It doesn't say glorify Allah. It points to his name. Glorify the name of thy Lord, the Most High. And then what is, what does he do? One who creates. What is happening here in Surah Allah? You see, some Shias also have told me that uh, uh, Najul Balagha is above their mind. They can't get what Imam Ali is saying, and you know, some oh, we're creation. We weren't even there to understand. But Imam Ali has told us, yes. Even I used to think this way. We could not understand Imam Ali. Salman Farsi, when Salman Farsi was asked, the majlis thing it is, so it could go into hearsay. I don't know if there's a tradition. Like very few people understood. Even Salman Farsi didn't understand who Imam Ali was. We were told. I mean, who is this person? He said, I don't know. Someone said, please, uh, something like uh, it had come in a majlis. So I, sorry, I, I just had have to mention it like this loosely. Right? And we, if this is, the, and this is very serious because look, this is about how, not only how, yeah, one most important thing is that we may have been deceived. Someone has used these plagiarized, copied. Another thing is that that strong thing against attributing anything, associating anything with Allah is a shirk, unforgivable shirk. Again and again I say it in the Arabic word, as it's put in the Quran, I think. Or where does this shirk word come from? Oh, so that much uh, knowledgeable I am not. Where I'm not that much knowledgeable or not at all, I will say it. But please, concentrate not on how much I don't know, but now what I know 
and I'm showing you, then you can criticize me for what I don't know. But when I don't know, I say I don't know. But these people, they did not say to you, they don't know. They said, ask us, ask us, and we know everything. And we are going to guide you to the true Allah. And then you, as humans, can live your fullest potential, right? But not be God-realized. I don't think there's a... Maybe some, uh, some Shias are still in a misunderstanding. But what are you going to tell me? You're going to tell me, oh Zara, you are telling us God realized, God realized. Connection with God is there. But there's no God realized. You can uh, listen to Hasnan uh, Rajabali's. You know how Imam Ali was connected with God in the battlefields and here, there, in his life. And what is this connection? And yet we have the problem of duality. Even the Shias have tried to comb it and make us understand. When we say his oneness, okay, Imam Ali has mentioned his oneness, God's oneness. What is God's oneness? The foremost in religion is the acknowledgement of Him, the perfection of acknowledging Him is to testify Him. How do you testify Him? Huh? Baba, testification is like a witness. How can you testify to something who has created you? How can you be proof of someone like Him? Tell me. On one hand, we get Imam Hussain saying uh, that the evidence of you. How can uh, some outside? How, how can something be an evidence of you when it depends on you for your existence? I mean, for its existence. Sorry, correction. When it depends on you for its existence. So today I'm a little bit very deeply angry, hurt. That's why I'm like impassionate about this. You might say, oh, Zara, the angry one. You see, you took this God. Just imagine what, where I'm coming from. From the idol worshippers. And you patched in this from the... Jews from the Christian Trinity and you don't know what the Trinity is and you told us that I know what the Trinity is it's it consists of the mother of God when it doesn't consist of the mother of God maybe some sub 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 sect of Christianity not alive anymore gone it's extinct Gone. Please tell us about the real Trinity that is so massly uh, spread and believed in. But Quran will not tell you about that Trinity. You see? I'm drinking my tea, sorry, uh, so very hurt, <laughs> deeply hurt. So Trinity not allowed and uh, Quran mentions a verse that now the Christians can hit us with, right? And of course they have the right, they are very good, they are hitting us with it. Oh, goodness. Sorry, my, uh, some infection. Oh, so I have to do this on the mouth. 
upper side of the mouth. I have some pain there. Okay, now, so please, I'm not Mickey Malik. I'm not copying him. I hope he's not, uh, you know, sent something to harm me. Because I'm very vulnerable to these negative things, energies and all. Have been. So the Trinity... Please tell us about the Trinity, the one that is widespread nowadays. And uh, when did the Christians, uh, even the, uh, in the olden times, they had this Trinity and not the Mother of God. We may be wondering why the Mother of God was not involved in the Trinity, but uh, that's not the case. The case is uh, that uh, the Trinity mentioned is wrong. In the Quran ayat, it is wrong. Please see that. Right? And acknowledge it for God's sakes. Acknowledge it for once. Stay with it. See. Because the other trinity should have been mentioned also with it. But it is not. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is not mentioned. That trinity is not mentioned. Why? Why this lapse? Why is God, the Father, the Son and the Mother are mentioned? And not the Holy Spirit. Are you telling me that later on the Christians copied, wanted to say no to this Quran, so what they did is they changed their trinity? This would be a great research on your hands to see. Find out you are believers, you know the truth. You know, find evidence, give it to the Christians that your Trinity, you changed it. I can show you here in the, this uh, scripture of yours. Or ask Shias, when is Imam Mahdi going to come? It's a very important, pertinent matter. Today, lies are going on and on and on, and God has given respite, and which Christian may come one, two, three, four, thousands and millions gone. Correcting whom are we correcting? Only the minority. Only one or two. Okay, Lauren Booth has come in. Anita Rai has come into Shiaism. They are just a handful, dozen. The rest, you're not correcting them? They are speaking out loud, saying that it is in our scripture. It wasn't like this. The Trinity was never Bibi Maryam, Mother of God. Ask them why. See. Uh, discuss with them in the most uh, best way we must discuss with the Ahle Kitab even if they attack us this is what you want to prove right you want to prove how great our manners are our ulamas Shia ulamas don't indulge in these cheap talks on YouTube against these evangelist Christians. The way they make fun, rob Christian. The way they make fun of Prophet Muhammad. They take one hadith. We Shias could have done this, but look at us Sunnis. We never did this to you. 
we never ever insulted you and what you're openly saying what is this if this is what you shias want to prove then don't come here thank you I lived my life sacrificing while my father was going on he finds every finds a woman for himself he cannot live without a woman he says otherwise he would have god knows he would have been a great adulterer if mutta and more marriages were not allowed and yet he writes that hussain ibn ali hussain ibn ali hain uske jaisa na koi tha na koi hai na koi hoga and behind my back no preparation for us the daughter has taken a promise in childhood that daddy you will not get married to another woman while you are married to my mother childhood now you could say this is just your personal example we are very good manners i tell you come help out in karadar our khoja ishna shari community the problems there give us sayyad for our health come your great manners and your great con- contributions are going to help you are better than hindus huh in your generosity iran iran has given us work there wow in pakistan the shias when is iran going to reach out berozgar unemployed a husband hitting his mother a uh, wife hitting his mother when are you going to help organize yourselves here i have the his highness ah khan time is running out ah oh, there's there's not a shia not a sunni what is this first let me just show you i will pass this i will pass this place but once so any good that i can do this place but once where are you shias with your great manners hame kya akhlaq sikhaya hai rasul allah ne hame kya etiquettes diye hain kya exalted character rasul allah ka kitna noble character hai exemplary aur hame बीबी फातमत जहरा दिया है हमें एक घराना दिया है फुल घराना फुल हाउस टू फॉलो फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ आर लाइफ वट एग्जाम्पल वट एटिकेट्स हम डांस वांस नहीं करते हैं राधा रानी और कृष्णा की तरह 
I will pass this place but once. Quote. I shall pass this place but once. Imam Hussain ki majlisho mein jane wale dusron ka ghar lut raha hai dekhte nahi ho. I shall pass this way but once. Any good that I can do or any kindness, any kindness I can show, even a smile perhaps. Right? What did Dale Carnegie write in his book, Stop Worrying and Start Living? He said that Prophet Muhammad has said, I haven't found this in any of the hadiths. The way he has written about Prophet Muhammad saying, what was the saying in Dale Carnegie's book? Stop worrying and start living, or it's start living and stop worrying. That a good deed is to put a smile on the face of another. Who has said this? Prophet Muhammad. Dale Carnegie has, uh, Carnegie has quoted this. So, I shall pass this way but once. Any good that I can do or any kindness I can show to any, not a Muslim human being, not a Mu'mineen, to idol worshippers, any human being. Let me do it now. It's now or never. Oh, tomorrow I will do it. Then we say postponement is sh uh, shaitan. Delay is shaitan. Procrastination is shaitan. Let me do it now. Let me not differ nor neglect it. For I shall not pass this way again. How many beggars on the street? of Karachi. How many years have we been going for majlises? Tell me. Some of you Shias cannot be true to a friend. Even I tell you, some Sunnis are better than you. How do you judge? Imam Ali wale hai hum, Jannat mein jayenge. Jannat jeet liya hai, we are the inheritors. He's the chief of paradise, the chief of archangels. Okay, so please give it to me in the end. You want to criticize me? You do it in the end. After I explain to you what I have seen, after I've explained to you the Surah Ayats and this, then you will tell me, some of you, Shias, like myself, that, oh, I don't understand. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Nara, Hedri, Yali. Chaman Chaman Kali Kali Ali 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 Nagar Nagar Gali Gali Ali 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 Okay, my <coughs> if I do this a uh, lot, <laughs> I, I cannot <coughs> afford to scream out passionately. Where's my chrome? I lost it. But it really hurts, really. It. So here we are. What Imam Ali now, can you see uh, Surah Ala now? I've read. Okay, let me read it again because it was some time back here. 
and we are believers in Imam Ali. And Zahra, maybe Imam Ali, you don't attribute, say, uh, uh, something you associate. Uh, what, what, what is it? Arabic, what is in it? What, I mean, Arabic attributes, are you Imam Ali or what are you saying? Naam bol rahe hain, khuda ke naam bol rahe hain, attributes bol rahe hain, description bol rahe hain, kya bol rahe hain, bata mujhe koi shia bata hai, tell me shias. Agar chale, kya bol rahe hain, kya bol rahe hain, description bol rahe hain Allah ka, naam, which attribute, what is an attribute, kyu attribute to the translate kya hai, why have they, uh, translated this word as attributes to Allah. Thus, whoever attaches attributes to Allah recognizes his like. And whoever recognizes his like, what is in that Surah Kaf? Or uh, uh, yet would the words not be spent of Allah? If the seas were, uh, if there were seven seas, um, if the inks were like seven seas, Right? If the inks were seven seeds and the trees uh, were, were pens, yet would the words of God not be spent. Right? Words of God. Names of, and then, okay, words of God not be spent. So you're saying words. I mean, what is his perfection? What is his creation? Is Khalqul Azim. What is his natural creation? This air, this thing, we should be uh, counting our blessings. We have hands. Imam Hazrat Abbas didn't have hands. Didn't have his arms in Karbala. Imam Sajjad has told us what these hands are for. These fingers, these nails, that we should be grateful for, the breath. So if the Hindus sit and say, just watch your breath, this is all you need to do. Why is breath so important? We say, no, these are idol worshippers. Nijis, impure. If the Hindus become pan pantheistic, we see the glory of God in a blade of grass. No, this is shirk. But we ourselves, when we look at the first month's moon, the new moon, we say, Subhanallah, what prayer do we have to say? Looking at that crescent moon, the first night's moon, the new moon, what do we say? We say, oh, we actually uh, uh, bring God and say, oh God, Subhanallah, thank you. And we have this prayer and uh, we say, Allah, go up on the roof, look at the uh, Ramadan, uh, new moon, the moon of Ramadan, and uh, so many blessings you will get. This is Khalq al-Azim. This is not, this is not Khalq al-Azim himself, but it is the creation of Allah. So now Imam Ali is saying here, and you will say, oh, he's talking in parables. We cannot understand this. Why? Because it goes against what I'm telling you. Even, okay, in explaining and all this, forget it. I'll just take you, okay, attributes, look at this attribute, yeah? Look at what Imam Ali has said. Now, with my own personal life, Thing. Eight years I didn't see Mrs. Munira Gulzahar, the one I loved, 
because they told me, Elibet, dreams, religious dreams were coming. He was ill. Of course, I never compared myself to Imam Hussain's sacrifice. But which Imam can compare himself to Imam Hussain's sacrifice? Imam Musa al Qadim? Well, his daughter, Bibi Masumaikum, was not like Bibi Zainab. So please. Everyone has their imams. Uh, Imam Mehdi's mother was she Khatun Narjas. That Imam's mother, the one who will be the savior of all mankind and he will have such power. He will be above the Hindu spirituality. He will be above Vishnu. He will be above any sort of power in the world any sort of knowledge, yours, ancient knowledge, Buddha knowledge, Vishnu knowledge, Shiva knowledge, Brahma knowledge. Who was she? His mother. Narjas Khatun. A princess? Roman princess. Huh. Not a Shia that the Imam As uh, Imam Askari chose. Not a Shia, a Roman princess. A life changed. So much concentration on Imam Hussain, Imam Hussain, Bibi Zainab, Bibi Zainab, Umay Kulsum, Imam Sajjad, Bibi Sakina. Whereas I can tell you the Shias don't care about some of these Shias. Do you see, do you see from a child any Sakina? Do you see Bibi Sakina in another child? You don't. A lot of you don't see. Why should you see? They were Masum. She was Imam Hussain's daughter. This child could be a daughter of a... Well, my wife is like this. She's evil. She's that. And are you, You're looking at whose child he, uh, it is or you're looking at the child him, itself? And that way you give excuses to yourself and you miss, you just shrug off those children. You have no feelings. Some of you Shias. Go cultivate. You've been listening to Bibi Sakina's Madlis for years. What feelings do you have for another person's child? You will take her in and uh, now Mehram, the other person, you can't even adopt the child. You can't give her a father if a father dies. At least if the idol worshippers thing remained, maybe someone had uh, could have. Only Imam Sajjad, her brother, her saga, blood, a step or half brother. Stepbrother. Okay, I call her. I get confused about this half brother and step. I, I mostly say stepbrother. Okay? Same, a uh, different mother and uh, same father. But what if that adoption had remained and they could, it was in their thing to treat the son, someone else's son, as their own son? Why did God have such a change of mind? There, with the Z. Huh? 
No, no, I'll tell you something about Imam Hussain and Bibi Sakina and Ali Akbar. That you don't care, you Shias. You don't care, really. You have cultivated, you have learned from Imam Hussain, but you, you can never be. You are second-hand people, followers. You can never be Imam Hussain. Neither can another Imam be Imam Hussain. Neither can His Highness Aga Khan be Imam Hussain. That poor Ismaili that we twelve Shias have called Nijis, Nijis Imams, who will be in the lowest abyss, we think. So now, Shias, please look at this. The ones who are with me, who understand what I'm trying to say, uh, because it's very, very, sometimes even I get, you know, shaken up like, because this, this Imam Ali, he knows everything and he said, he claimed to know everything, right? He has knowledge of everything. He's seen the, I've seen Allah. He's, uh, he said to someone, woe be to you. I see Allah, that's why I worship Him. How do you see Allah? Through the heart's eyes. What if I tell you that I saw Allah, I see Allah through the heart's eyes. Not I saw Allah, but He's present ever here. And there's no distance. Once you leave your mind behind, aside. And even with love and all this, if you allow people to love one another, instead of looking at Oh, she should marry a Shia and this and that. In humanity be one. That's what oneness of Allah would mean. Not what Imam Ali here is saying. Oneness of Allah. In humanity be one. Caring for one another. Like Saadi has said. Shirazi. Human beings are what? Yet us go shaitan ara and auzubillah min shaitan alayhin rajim and this woman is naked and I don't want to see her and she's dancing and I don't want to see her and uh, she's listening to music and I'm not going to hear her and what her character is I'm not going to see her. And uh, she's screaming out loud, and this is her mannerism. And she has abused, I'm not going to listen to her. Now today I'm going to prove Imam Ali wrong. So Imam Ali, where's the ayat? Where's the ayat? Thus, whoever attaches attributes to Allah recognizes. What was that sermon 91? In sermon 91, Najul Balagha? Idol worshippers, satanic. But how can you Shias, you know, you cannot worship the one God except through them? And then what if they turn out to be? The deceivers, the greatest deceivers, the greatest Satans. Where are you going to go? Maybe some Hindu will, a Hindu believe that reincarnation, you won't be burning in hell, right? What if, just imagine, for, just for one second, think, what if? This is a false religion. She asks, of course, you will not be in trouble. All that sacrifice, all that life given for a liar. Are kisine usko, Jews ko loot liya, Christians ko loot liya, tributes le liya. He's taken tributes under our nose. And he's saying, why not to take these arbabs, monks and rabbis as arbabs, 
because uh, no one should be taken besides Allah. But there's another verse too. What do these monks and rabbis do? They cheat. They take money. Right? I think there's a, another verse like that. Okay, besides that ver those verses, besides Allah, you should not take any lords. But isn't there a verse which says that these lords that you take as doctors, also doctors of what? What are they called? Uh, they embezz and they take money from you. They cheat you. They, they deceive you. I think there's a ayat, I'll have to search for it, sorry. So I'm not going to right now, but later on I'll try to find it. Because I'll have to pause here and my sp uh, thing will go, my flow will go. Uh, so this is the thing about Quran ayats. It hasn't uh, nazzled, it hasn't been come, it didn't come on my house, my father. And I have to be very careful what I say and how I say it. And I'm not, uh, I'm making mistakes. You will take me uh, as a, you know, someone who could even mistake Imam Ali's name, uh, words. See, name I said, slip of tongue. Spellbound. I could be spellbound. You never know. Am I deceiving you people? But, okay, slightly, okay, this whole lecture, right? Leave it aside. And now cut myself short. Bas. Okay? Now you see for yourself. My personal life, what I sacrificed, what you Shia sacrificed, all that. For what? For what? For the one who gave Jews and stole this and that. Forget it. That's why we've cut myself short. Now you come here. Thus, whoever, whoever attaches attributes to Allah does what? Recognizes his like. What are you told to do in Surah Allah? And whoever recognizes his like regards him too. What are you asked to do in Surah Allah verse 1? Tell me. Isma, Isma Rabbika, right? What? Isma. Don't try to cheat yourself and me out of, you know, what is Isma? Name. Who do you glorify? Who are you asked to glorify in the name of Allah? Uh, in, 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 sorry, in the Surah, Allah, Surah Allah. What, who are you? See? What does it say? Sabbihi. Sabbihi. Glorify. Isma. Isma. Rabbika. Of your Lord. Al A'la. The Most High. Glorify the name of your attention pay attention here gaur kare idhar gaur kare mujhe ek maqam pe aap logon ko leke jana hai us maqam pe nahi jis maqam pe wo throne allah ka bhi inhone jhoot bola hai humse is allah ka naam leke jhoot bola hai Please, exalt the name, not your Lord, the name of your Lord, the Most High. What does he do? Now, actions, whatever without action, he still, he has no movement, because any kind of movement. But what is his thing? Who created and proportioned. So when the Hindus say Brahma, Brahman, he said, no, 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 no. Shirk, 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 shirk. 
and who destined and then guided. Are you not to? Oof. What is he doing? Oh, you understand what he's doing? That, that, Khalq al Azim is doing without doing, without action. But still, it's being mentioned here for us to do what? To recognize him as what? He's the only one who can do this and brings out the pasture. Gardener Nehe, Vishnu, and then makes its black stubble Shiva. We will make you recite, O Muhammad, O Muhammad in brackets, and you will not forget. This ala. So, another thing, I will go deeper into this and reveal. You just come here, please. See this for now, what I have seen. Exalt the name, name, name of your Lord the Most High. And if you're saying the name is not the attributes, then I can show you another verse. I will come back. I will search out that verse in Surah Kaaf or somewhere. Yet would the words of God not be spent. Kitne camels ho jarein, Imam Ali ki praise me. How many camels are moving with boxes, boxes of praise, books, books, books upon books. And yet would the praises of Imam Ali not be spent. Okay, thank you. I will continue later.